Hi, I'm Dr. Evren Aysef from Istanbul Bilgi University Department of Architecture and the heading is the urbanization process of Northern Istanbul in the Anthropocene era, Yavuz Sultan Selim Bridge and Northern Marmara Highway. Istanbul in the 2000s is a striking example of urban development via mega projects. The mega projects of Northern Istanbul have a huge impact on ecological systems and urban growth patterns of the city. This presentation focuses on the Yavuz Sultan Selim Bridge and the Northern Marmara Highway as the first of the Northern Istanbul mega projects aiming to move the transportation infrastructure and center of gravity of the city towards north, tearing up the northern forests. This project, followed by the Istanbul Airport and the bidding of Kanal Istanbul, is a part of the urban expansion strategy towards north, aiming to establish Istanbul as a global transportation hub. In this presentation, discursive analysis of the project is given through the problematization of neoliberal urban space production mechanisms in the Anthropocene era. Two key concepts being Ananya Roy's informality and Ben Flyberg's four categories of sublime are taken into account to provide a theoretical framework. 21st century is marked by a global environmental crisis unprecedented in the history of humanity caused by human activities. The human effects on the Earth systems are so profound that the Earth has reached to the threshold of Holocene, entering into an Anthropocene, the age of man. More than a geological term, Anthropocene is a definition of the crisis pressing humanity to redefine its relationship to the Earth systems. It is essential to rethink urbanization in the light of the Anthropocene discussion in order to leap beyond the neoliberal capitalist logic, converting all phenomena into commodified zeros and ones of the capitalist economy. This constitutes a great challenge, considering the hyper-urbanization dynamics of the 21st century where Urban space production has a huge speed and scale. The boundary between urban and non-urban is blurred. The core of urbanization is shifted from Euro-America to peripheries. In this setting, urban implemented megaprojects become a de facto state strategy for urban transformation. A megaproject creates a non-proportional disturbance where existing structures or rules are often incapable of absorbing. The Northern Istanbul ecosystem is an ecological corridor of major importance both in regional and city scale between Black Sea and the urbanized Istanbul, between East Europe and Asia Minor. It connects European and Anatolian flora and fauna as well as Mediterranean and Black Sea regimes. This climatic and geographic clash results in extraordinary richness. Northern Istanbul have never been densely populated in the history of the city. Urban development has always been towards east-west direction, while north was avoided. The 1 to 100,000 scale Istanbul environmental plan suggests similar principles. In the plan, it is stated that Istanbul should not grow towards north. A land use transportation relation minimizing Bosphorus crossings should be established. Three bridges in 50 years demonstrate the urban transportation policy of Istanbul, promoting highways instead of sea and rail transportation, private vehicles against public transportation, fossil fuels instead of alternative energies. These choices had significant impacts on the urban sprawl of the city. The two Bosphorus bridges had irreversible impacts on the urban development and transportation patterns of Istanbul. Each bridge carried the city further towards north. The third bridge will inevitably have the same effect, Triggering, uh, triggering urbanization towards north. Mega projects did not exist in the Istanbul environmental plan. Nevertheless, they were executed subsequently in the last decade with top-down and non-transparent decision-making processes. Third Bridge and Northern Marmara Highway is against a number of national and international laws and treaties. The execution of the project is leg legitimized through revisions of planning documents, bypassing laws and regulations by the government. This is commodified informality as stated by Roy. Here, informality is no longer associated with the unregulated real estate market of squatter settlements, but the hyper-flexible state machine that legitimizes its actions via political and capital power. Mega projects are frequently promoted through their size, scale or volume, publicized as being the tallest, biggest or longest as if the size is a valid indicator of quality. 
This emphasis on bigness surpasses all other issues such as ecological or social concerns, repressing essential conversations. Third Bridge and Northern Marmara Highway follows the same logic. The quantitative features of the project are a huge part of the affirmative discourse built around the project as highlighted in the promotional books and brochures, newspaper headlines, and in inauguration speeches. This is a typical example of the technological sublime as discussed by Flyberg. Mega projects are tools for political propaganda, manifestations of power, and vessels for public attention and visibility. Economic sublime is the justification of mega projects with profitability, capital accumulation, and economic rejuvenation. Mega projects trigger economic activity, create new jobs, and feed the construction sector. Through North Istanbul mega projects, an estimated 350 billion US dollars worth of real estate market will be created from scratch at a part of the city where urban development is mostly prohibited. So the issue is far more than improving the transportation network. It is the creation of artificial needs to commodify and market the unurbanized forest area and attract global capital in the expense of natural resources. In the Anthropocene condition, limits of our planet, which have been inconceivable to exhaust, are revealed before our eyes. In this new paradigm, in order to make peace with Earth and start healing the crimes against nature, it is crucial to question, challenge and deconstruct the capitalist discourse of infinite progress and growth that have taken humanity hostage for so long. Thank you for listening.